Tech Time Series. Hello there. Today I'm going to show you how I did this animation in Adobe After Effects. Here we are. I'm going to show you two different examples. This one, just with the effects deactivated. This is the text layer. This is another one. So this is an amazing effect and it's, it is going to be very, very easy for me to show you how it has been done. Here we are with a text layer and the first effect that we need to apply is the Venetian blinds. And here we have like the transition completion with a percentage that we are going to put at, for example, 20. I'm going to tweak this afterwards and we are going to be playing with the width also like the thickness. The second effect that we need is like a simple choker, this fella here, and we are going to increase this to something like 12, let's say, but what is very important about this, this effect or this, this technique is that you are going to be tweaking or changing the the parameters throughout all the, the making of this effect. The next effect that we need here is the fast box blur, 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 yeah. So here, for example, let's say that we set it to two, the blue radius. And next one is going to be some levels, the, the good old levels here. And in the levels, it's very important that we work from the alpha channel here and we are going to play with these controls to make the contours or the outline of this shape crisp and sharp is mainly working from the highlights and moving it to the left maybe a little bit more yep and now i'm going to apply again a simple choker in this case, I'm going to use it to close the gap between each, uh, yeah, just to close the gaps here. And now it's a matter of playing with the different effects. You see, if I change the fast box blur to one, it changes a lot the outcome with these two. And now for the animation, what I did, you can directly animate the direction of here, the Venetian blinds, but I'm going to show you a very quick and easy expression to do it like without keyframes. If you click in the stopwatch with Alt or Option on a Mac, and you write here, time and asterisk, and now for example, 20, you play your animation, you see that this is kind of ready to go. So now it's a matter of playing with this, like with all the effects, because as always in After Effects, when we have different effects stacked together, it's a matter of playing with them to have a different outcome. But yeah, this is a very, very interesting effect because if you play, for example, with the leading or the distance between the different lines, it's going to start to melt. Also, for example, here, if I close the gap between the L and the I, it's going to just melt within this line here. And also if we deform uh, the text, you know, the lines, they are going to stay the same with the same thickness so that's pretty amazing again i'm going to make a summary or a recap of what we we did here firstly we applied a venetian blinds then a simple choker then a fast fo box blur then some levels but remember that only on the alpha channel and then another simple choker let's deactivate some of these just so that you can see how it 
they all work together and yeah that's pretty much it please leave any doubts that you have in the comments and see you in the next one Kinetic Type Series.